Rob, I know you've been keeping track of everything. My goodness. Um, yeah. I, I guess, you know, I want to kind of look at the positive for a bit because this week for us yes. is looking really good after that heat wave we have we had to deal with last week. Yeah, and another problem you saw in that video was the sure. unhealthy to hazardous air quality mm -hmm. across uh, Lake Tahoe. And you've been seeing a little bit of that around the Bay Area, too. Sure. So some good news is that breeze picks up. Air quality should start to improve right there across the Tahoe Basin. You can see how the wind will push more of that smoke off to the east, and it's something we should see here too around the Bay Area. As you see, the onshore wind picks up and more of that wildfire smoke does start to move on out. One thing that we are watching though, still okay. a little bit of tropical moisture there from Tropical Storm K. It's powering up a few isolated showers around the Bay Area. If you don't like all that humidity, here's the story as we move forward. It's going to get out of here by tomorrow. Look at that. It heads off to the east, so the ocean air conditioning fires up. We begin to cool things off. So unlike last week, where valleys hit 100 to 115 degrees, we're just going to be 30 to 40 degrees cooler tomorrow, all the way through probably about Thursday and Friday. Inland temperatures in the 70s to near 80 degrees inland, 68 in San Francisco, 71 in Oakland, and low 70s into San Jose. Quick check of the seven-day forecast shows mild temperatures below average for valley temperatures through the end of the week with better air quality. Then stay tuned for the weekend. More showers and a little bit of cooling moving forward towards Sunday. Audrey? Hey, that looks fantastic, Rob. Thanks so much.